I can't imagine the plethora of activity that you have going on over at the Center for Disease Control and Prevention and what you've been doing over the last two or three years. Give uh, us the top line state of the state. Yeah, good afternoon. I really appreciate uh, being here with the distinguished panel. And yeah, we've been a little bit busy at CDC. Um, but, uh, and we appreciate everything <laughs> that you have done over the last three years, quite frankly. I want to make sure to say that. Thank you. And I, I always like to start by just thanking all of uh, not only our federal staff at CDC, but also our state, local, tribal, territorial uh, partners, uh, all the folks that work with CDC. It, it is um, a team effort uh, in terms of uh, responding to this, uh, the multiple pandemics, um, as well as just um, protecting our nation's health. So just want to start off with that. Um, so obviously, two major efforts at CDC uh, that's been going on, um, pandemic preparedness activities, addressing COVID-19, monkeypox, a number of other public health emergency responses. While we have dealt with um, public health emergencies before, obviously, um, I don't think we've ever encountered one at the breadth, scale, and scope of COVID. And so this has sort of forced us to reevaluate um, not only our technology choices, but sort of our, our data governance structure, our, our decisions to process high volume, as well as a variety of data sources in a short period of time. Uh, the second effort, um, actually prior to COVID, uh, was really examination of our daily operations. Uh, we've sounded the alarm about the needs of our aging and under-resourced public health infrastructure. Um, and so we launched uh, something called the Data Modernization in Initiative, or DMI. And the goal of DMI is to modernize our siloed and brittle public health information systems to become more streamlined, connected, um, and responsive to empower public health professionals to prevent issues before they arise, as well as respond quickly and effectively when public health emergencies occur. Um, and so I think uh, some of the use cases, uh, which will go in more detail, but leveraging new technologies, cloud services, lake houses, other open source uh, approaches uh, and technologies to process, you know, billions of vaccine administration uh, records, millions of testing, uh, COVID testing lab uh, data on a, on a daily basis. Uh, in addition to just um, the big data activities related to the response, we're, we've been prototyping and then we launched an enterprise data analytics and visualization platform called EDAV. Um, it's a service for our programs to leverage cloud and data technologies to launch dashboards, modernize their analytical processing and improve business intelligence capabilities. So between these uh, two major efforts, CDC is very actively exploring and adopting, leveraging new technologies to solve mission critical problems in public health. So 